Okay. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Do I appear that I'm not feeling well? Because that's the look we're going for. Feeling great. Um, I'm out. I'm okay. Just need some water. If only if I had Both somebody. Feel like crap. It doesn't matter. Mine is more important. Hello? <laughs> okay. I saw your face. I saw your face and the thing and the I saw your face shift to go. <laughs> um, you guys, we are making it's the Midwestern's version of a shepherd's pie. We make it with hash browns. What? Tater dots. Tater dots. Tater dots. Tater dots. Sorry. Tater dots. We make it with tater dots. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's very tired. You're, you're tired, uh, Thor? Shit, when the doc isn't feeling good, that's bad. Oh, we all feel like that. Well, ours, it started raining. The weather's just, like, not better yet. We're still in, like, 60 degrees, and then the next day, 80, then the next day, 50. Um, so other than that, mine are the allergies. Joe doesn't get really allergies, but he's, what? Nothing. I didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. I'll do a replay. Ryan is here dead. I'm dead. Ryan. He did not say Ryan is here. <laughs> did, Ryan, for some reason, <laughs> that just sounded funny. Ryan is here. <laughs> Shut up, Joe. Stop laughing at me. It sounds funny. There you go. What do you want me to make you? You know. I want some water. Water. You just want water? Ice water. The doc says I need to drink my share of water. Hi, guys. Um, Cheese, Liz, Allie, RLR. I saw you come in, in already. Thor, Ryan said he's present. I appreciate someone being here. And letting me know who it was. I was thinking it was like Thor, Cheese, my mom. Could have been anyone. Could have been anyone. If Ryan wouldn't tell me it was him, I would have been like, who is that guy? This part's optional. Oh, no, I won't do it just yet. All right, I'm going to bring you over. I hope everybody's having a good hump day. Hump. Doing the hump. Y'all probably don't know that song. I just aged myself. Oh, well. I age myself a lot on this channel. Does anybody know that song? It goes to rain again. Oh, what's raining again, guys? It's sunny out, but it's raining. Look at it. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yep. See, it's sunny over there. Sunny skies. Okay. It's sunny over here, too. Now, hi guys. Right over here. It's raining out there on this side. <laughs> and it's casting shadows as the sun is out. Yep. But that's Texas weather for you. Oh, Jingo, thank you. Yeah. It's raining on one window and the other one it's sunny. Let's go. All right. Warming up my skillet. I'm making it in a, if you have a skillet or a pan that goes in the same, my digital underground, A. Hey. You must do that again. What are you gonna do again? Hey, party on Friday. Party's at Ryan's. I know. Allie, between Allie and Thorpe, man, we had some, the first night we were all cheating off of Sparkle and Jackie, and then last night we were all cheating off of Allie and Thor and Burke's Destiny. I gave birth to that, just so you guys know. She didn't get much from me. She got a lot from Joe. She got a lot of the knowledge from Joe. Like, Drew had natural knowledge. Like, he didn't even have to study, and he got A's all the time. Destiny would study and study and study and study and we got tutors and tutors and she pulled a c minus as long as it was above passing that's what we cared about but she really really worked for her grades that's one thing i can tell you guys if anybody's had multiple kids this is my thought i put my daughter in pre i put my son in preschool and my daughter i did not and there was a difference in her in her grades 
One of them, hey Rachel, it was a little bit harder for, I mean, three to five year olds, preschool. It was like early, early something, early childhood or something like that. Um, I, I used to be a preschool teacher before I did the accounting and all that. So I was a director. I was able to bring my children to school with me. So I brought my son to school or to work with me. He was in the, I think he must have been three or four. So he was in a preschool. It did help him, honestly. I, I just I just knew that my daughter worked a little bit harder to get every grade she got. Okay, baby, can you do this for me? Yeah. Death wish? How's that coffee? It's good. Really? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Not you're good. It's good. <laughs> you guys, has anybody had that? Death wish coffee. It's really good. Mm, we'll see about that. It's good. Okay. I'm going to start ground beef, ground chuck, ground turkey. Use whatever ground you have. If you want to try ground uh, half turkey, half chicken, do them both. But I'm doing... Shit. This thing was right over the pan. <laughs> Don't step on that. I got you. Sorry. I can't help it. I can't help it. You can't help it. <laughs> Come on, guys. My dad told me to be careful. There's there I, I, we do two things. We do it different, baby. Oh, we stick to the we cook it differently. Oh, my God. Why want... won't you try my ways? Um, I would die before I tried your ways. Uh, I see the, the first layer just peel off of that now. I'm putting some garlic and some onion in there. Jeez. I saw a garlic. Oh, it's right there. I'm just spilling everything, guys. You have to taste it. You got to the people. I don't believe in. Um, I believe that there's enough fat in my beef. I don't think I need it. Joe and I cook differently. Half a cup of onion, diced up. Oh wait, it's just a half a cup of diced onion, okay? And garlic to your liking. If you're a big fan of powder, then don't use cha fresh. I like fresh garlic. She said she hands hot by now. Must have done a minute ago. Okay, cheese. Cheese. You're as good as Joe. Hey Rachel. Hey Rachel. This is kind of what I do. You guys can do it any way you want, but I want to show you what I do. You guys see on one side, you'll see my meat. I'll kind of get my garlic and my onion on one side, just until my meat is broken up. But might as well get them sauteed first. Why not? Jeez, this was in the fridge. You guys, our fridge is so strong, it freezes our vegetables, freezes our meat. Look at This has been in the fridge. It was raw. What's Scrapple? Mm. She's uh, making, making Scrapple. What's Scrapple? Is that like... I have a problem. Is that like shit on a shingle? Describe it. What is Scrapple? I've never had a cheese. Is it something a Mexican would make? Because it's probably not what I'm making then. Did they describe it? Um, no, not yet. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, let me add some stuff to it. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm not going to add too much. I'll show you why in a minute. While I'm doing this, I'm putting these in the oven while my oven's preheating. You don't have to do this. It gets your tater tots a little crunchier before you go in with the, with the, um, you wanna do this again? Yeah. Before you go in with your tater tots, how am I trying to say it? When we put this tater tots on, it, thank you. When we put the tater tots in the casserole, we're kind of giving it um, a little jump start. I like it. It makes them crunchy. 
You don't have to. Not not what I'm doing right now. Plus, but if they're frozen, they're already. Yeah, if unfrozen, they're frozen, you can leave them out on the counter. You can put them in the microwave. Mine are literally from the freezer. I put them in a bag because I was gonna split it in half with one for me and Joe for one other dish, and then tonight's dish is this. Okay, but it's preheating, so I'm gonna throw them in there like this. And I'm gonna keep cooking my meat. The part that I want to tell you guys that's optional if you're in a hurry, and when I get to it, you don't have to do the next step. I'll tell you when I get there. But there's people that do this. Okay, let me say it like this. In the Midwest, it is a very quick dish because it's a very creamy, quick dish. We put cream of chicken in it, cream of mushroom in it cream of chicken in it. It's like a quick dish, okay? But I twisted it and made it into my version, and that's what we like because it tastes more homemade. I'm not a big fan of condensed soups. I feel like condensed soups, um, they have a lot of sodium in it. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. I, you guys know that. I always say for, like, green bean casserole, let's make our own soup. I do a lot of my own things. I don't really... I don't know. I just don't like a uh, canned soup when I can make fresh. That goes for chicken noodle, chicken rice, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom. Okay. I, my meat is still a little frozen in there, which shocked me just now. I thought it was completely raw and ready because I didn't freeze it at all. It was in the fridge the whole time. But again, my cilantro is frozen. My cucumbers froze. And it's on what? 37 or 39? 38. It just freezes weirdly look at joe this is what's adding no oil all right i'm just saying okay, fine. i won't show joe i'll show you guys i don't i just crackle is like a mixture of mixed meat they eat in the midwest i've never heard of crackle but i'm sure it could be a thing it's like uh maybe uh what's that stuff called that you wanted me to make Oh, it's, I think it's like that stuff that your friend wanted you to fry. Is it a Dutch thing? Mm, not Brock and Bry. Oh, Brock and Bry. Oh, so that's what I was thinking. Brock and Bry is, I think, is a Midwest thing, too. Oh, is it? I thought it was a Dutch thing. Well, I don't think there's a lot of Dutch out, out, uh, Dutch I, out and out west. You guys, if you don't have any kids, I was going to add green pepper to it, but Joe didn't want me to. But I would add green pepper to this. I don't think there's nothing wrong with the little. Oh, that's what I was singing. I said, I don't think I got up or something. And I said, ain't nothing wrong. And then I go with the little bump and grind. And I looked at Joe and I go, do you know that song? And he goes, what song? And I go, nothing wrong with the little bump and grind. He goes, I don't know what that is. And I was like, oh, my God. Do you know who R. Kelly is? And he's like. I don't know who that is. I'm like, I almost filed for divorce. Like, he barely knew who Easy E was, barely knew who Ice Cube was, only because we watched Friday so much. But how do you not know? I mean, my God, that's like my days. Okay, calm down, calm down. That was 10 years after my time. Do I like country? My husband took me to my my front row seats at the Garth Brook concert. That was my Christmas present. I was shook it. I was shook it. All right. Yeah. Anyways, I was like, uh, I even played the song for him, you guys. He's like, yeah, 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 I know who that is. Okay. I'm like, no, you don't. Joe's cute old. I like him old. I don't want him to be young, a young pup. I think it's cute that he doesn't know who that is. Oh, yeah? Why? Uh, ain't nothing wrong? Okay, guys, I'm going to take that last chunk of carne out because it's just holding my me up. Oh, okay. I'm just taking this out because it's just holding me up. I'm going to put it in a pan. Put it What, Joe? <laughs> what? I don't want to wait on it. 
We got things to do, people to see, and places to, I don't know. I got places to go, people to meet, and things to do. Boom. That's for you, madre. Mushrooms. Why? Because they're in my fridge doing nothing. And they got froze. <laughs> One of the many things that got froze. So, adding mushrooms. You don't have to if you don't want to. I am. <laughs> Look at it. They turned all weird because they were literally bought on Sunday because they got froze. Oh, it's still frozen in the middle. I was going to pop it out to show them, but... I'm going to uh, pump up the freezer a little Pump it up. Pump it up. Pump it up. Sorry. Pump it up. Pump it up. Okay, guys, watch my frozen... Look at my little frozen thing. <laughs> it's still frozen in the middle. That's weird. It's only... It's like it won't even go through there. Anyways, shush. That I don't know how I missed that one, but I was chopping them up. Oh no, I don't actually. But I have my AirPods out, so Dad does know best. Woo -woo. Sorry, guys. If anybody could not hear, let's start over again. Today we are making hash brown, or I mean tater tot casserole slash. Hash brown casserole slash whatever. Hey, pretty with pistols. Hello, my beautiful. Um, Allie, pretty pistols. My mother-in-law loves Michigan Trader. Trader. Oh my God. Michigan Trader Joe. What kind of music do you listen to when you are cooking? Michigan Trader online or the? I think. Trader? I think Trader? they. Yeah. Oh, uh, when we're, uh, we listen to anything. We listen to classic rock. That's mainly why we started, how we started dating is we both are very, he may not know that, but he doesn't mind if I put on like, um, like I'll listen to Easy e Ice Cube. Um, but then I also like ACDC. I like Motley Crue. I like Metallica. I like Garth Brooks. I like Alan San, uh, Alan Jackson. I like, um, Megan Train or train. Oh, shut up, your, yeah, your mother. I don't have my glasses on. Shut up, Joe. Your mother-in-law does? Trader. Wow. Yeah, my mom doesn't. My mom listens to a lot of this old Spanish. Once in a while, she listen to country. Um, but we both, Joe doesn't really listen to like, like I listen to all that stuff. Like NWA, I, LL Cool J, uh, Run DMC, um, Stevie B. I'll listen to pretty much anything. Um, I like Van Morrison. Uh, we both listen to Ted Nugent. We both listen to Van Morrison. We both listen to um, Led Zeppelin. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of. I think that's why we both like. It's not that he doesn't. He's just has never heard of. Like, I mean, maybe he, I think he his version of like soul music or black music is like Janet Jackson where I know like um, Barry White and LL Cool J and um, Keith Sweat and um, like SW like SWV to him he wouldn't even know what that is he would think I was just giving him initials he wouldn't know nothing about um, T maybe he might know TLC TLC I've heard of him yeah. Yeah? Okay. Chasing waterfalls? Oh, Joe! <laughs> yes! Yeah, that's one of them. I didn't know. <laughs> that's one. Yeah, Joe knows. I mean, we, we, we've been together for 20 years, you guys. I'll, I'll make a playlist and I'll play the songs. And then he's like, oh, that sounds pretty good. Oh, I mean, he doesn't like, oh my God, I love that well, song. Rachel Wolf is a rat pack. Lover. No, Sinatra, you like Tony Sinatra. Wow. It's not that I'm not. It's not that I don't like it. Wow, Patty, uh, pretty with pistols. Her, her uh, first husband hunted with Uncle Ted. No, yeah. Teddy. I think once he got political, he just was a little too, like, he got too uh, opinionated. Me and Joe both aren't on the same side uh, politically, so for us. We don't, we try to respect the other person when we're, you know what I mean? Like, I won't listen to somebody that's 
obviously talking a bunch of trash about um, the side that he's on. We just respect each other's side. That's that's the best way to describe it. We respect each other, and we just don't talk about it. We respect each other's opinions about it, and that's about it, right? Yep. Put about a quarter of a cup. Don't put too much because, I mean, it doesn't matter. You'll have to put a little oil if you put too much. That's my best advice to you. Start with a little bit of oil because your meat had all the grease or the manteca in it. Manteca is grease, oil. That's what manteca is. It's going to be wet from that. So just put a little. If you put too much flour, you're going to have to grab your your oil and just drizzle it in there and let it get wet. Because you do want your, your um, flour that you put in there to coat your meat and coat your mushrooms. Some people right here throw a packet of gravy in, which... To me, I don't know why anybody would put a gravy packet in there when you can just do it yourself. Some people put a can of mushroom in it, again, when you can do it yourself. Put cream of mushroom, cream of whatever. I make my gravy homemade. I'm going to season it. I'm going to add some black pepper to it. I'm going to add a little garlic powder. I like knowing that what it tastes like is something that I made. You know what I mean? Like, I made it. Um, I think we're out of our beef bouillon. Half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. If you don't mind it, you can do a little bit more. But I put diced onion, so I went with only a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay? That is something that you will have to try on your own if you like the fresh or if you like powder better. But I have garlic and onion powder in it. I don't have a lot, again, because I did put... Then you want to put some hot or very warm water because now we're going to get that... And the mushrooms are optional, guys. If you want to put a can of cream of mushrooms, you don't have to put the mushrooms in. If you don't want to do... You want to do this? Yeah. Okay, you do Ugh. the spoon part. And then I'll come over. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this... Yeah, just mix it. All that that's on the bottom, you guys, will come up. Not only because we're putting water on it, we're using a spoon that's going to scrape up the... What is that word? The remnants? The browning. We'll just call them bits of goodness. <laughs> it's called something. I always forget. And the, and the chat always tells us what the word is. It's called goodness. It is goodness. And this is the part that if you were to put condensed condensed soups or whatever, imagine that's the thick the thickness that you're wanting. Okay? That's what kind of thickness you're going for. You're not going for a gravy, like runny gravy. You want it thick. So I'm gonna turn the fire up and I'm gonna let the 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 roux that I had on my meat thicken up what I put in there. And then you want to zoom in just so you can go to the bottom and you can show them. Sure. Um, All done. So nothing is on the bottom. It's now in your soup. Garlic powder. All that flavor. Flavor. Don't leave flavor in the pan. I'm going to go look at the chat. I would like you to get a spoon and just see what the flavor is. If it's needing a little sure. bit of salt. I only put about a half a teaspoon. That's not much considering all the meat and gravy. Right? Uh, you guys, we're doing, I didn't put it on there yet, but tomorrow I got to move our bang bang shrimp. And tomorrow we're doing the bourbon glazed, maybe it does say it. We're doing the bang bang shrimp on Friday and we're doing the bourbon glazed, grilled bourbon, what is it? <laughs> grilled pork chops with bourbon glaze. There, 
We're doing that tomorrow. We're going to do the, the fish product again on Friday. It's Good Friday. We want to be respectful of that. Um, for me personally, I, I want to just respect that whole. I'm not Catholic, but I was brought up Catholic. I mean, just My mom's Catholic, and I just want to try to do whatever my subs are out there, and they may be. So, what'd you do? Just take a mix up a little bit. Do you put a lot of salt? Yeah, I think oh. I do. How much there salt did you There do? wasn't much salt in there. How much did you do? Well, apparently too much. Did you hold it upside down? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> well, let me mix it up a little bit. You got water in there now, so Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, let me All you have to do guys if it get a little bit too sweet, I mean a little too salty, add a little bit more so that way the gravy can it will get runny for a minute, but it will thick it will get thickened back up. Okay, so it may feel like I it's... Got, I think I just got, like, something that wasn't mixed up. It may be like, oh, my God, that's salty, okay? Add more water because you have plenty of flour. So add more water to it. It's going to get runny, so you're going to turn your heat up, and it's going to thicken back up. The heat is your friend when you're trying to thicken your gravy, whether it be enchilada or um, a breakfast so gravy when you make it, breakfast sausage with the milk and the flour and all that. If you get too much uh, milk in it, let, let that sit for a minute and let it almost thicken back up. It will thicken back up. How's it doing? Back of the spoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. It's really good. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would say go a little bit. Um, this is an option, too. You can either throw a can of green beans in it. You can throw a can of corn in it. We decided, I asked him what he wanted. He wouldn't wanted his on top. So it's gonna be layered on top. I'm gonna to make it in this pan. So, th pan? oh my hash browns are in there. How about I take those out? They're okay. There you go. Okay, you don't have to do what I just did. I chose to do it while it was preheating. So the next, what's your time? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were grabbing it. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna check the chat really quick and then I'll come back. Is that okay, or would yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Mm, okay, hold on, guys. Hi, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I want to get some of the side cleared off so that way it can be. Um... Oh, you know what? I know that I think of it, you're not going to be able to see it. I was going to clear off this just for looks. You can do it. If you're going to use the same pan, I'm sure that the tater tots are going to go above it, so I'm just clearing it. Okay, guys? We used the same pan. We made our gravy in it. Oh, fucking salt. Can you not put any more salt? Because there's everything has salt already. All right. Take it off. Stop it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The corn, I chose to take it out when I did my other one, so my corn isn't frozen solid. Let me explain why. If I put cold, turn off your heat. If I put cold corn on here, I'm literally getting little chips of ice and throwing them on my, I'm cooling down. I'm cooling down my meat mixture. Does that make sense? You can do it as heavy as you wanted or as light as you wanted. I'm doing a light coating versus four, like a whole one pound bag of corn. I don't want a whole pound of corn. I did a half a bag. We have something else we're going to use the corn for. So that's why I chose to split it in half. Okay. Oh, you want to do that part? Sure. sure no. Look at this table, Joseph. There's a little pinch of salt. Tater tots. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What? I should have told you. What? No, that's not what you do. What do you do? I'm sorry, I didn't I say. Know. I know. Enough? I'm just. I was just gonna randomly okay. do it and then make sure that we had. Uh, I'll just. You can split up, set up, right them. When you take it somewhere, ideally you wanna. Well, again, we're using the tater tots for something else, or I would have loaded them up. So ideally, go around in a circle. Then you'll do another row in the middle, okay. and then a small one. If you get to a point where you need to get more out, go for it. I mean, we are. We wanted them for. I think we're going to make chili cheese fries or hatch. I don't know what we are going to do with ours, but we wanted to do something. And that's what we actually bought them for. So that's. We'll see how they go. 
that's uh, that's the only reason we are um, skimpy. Skimpy numbers. God, thank you. I was gonna say stimpy. <laughs> the Ren and Stimpy. One of my favorites. Stimpy's not even a word. So it does my, stimpy, though. my suggestion is remember what you season and and how you're. Now you can fill in up here. Or, yeah, I'm going to. But one step I forgot to mention. Shoot, we're not doing it. That's why we went right to this. You can put cheese in your mixture or in your corn mixture or on the very top. Joe knows that I'm not a huge cheese fan, so we'll probably just put some on top for him. But I meant I meant to stop halfway and say, here, you can put cheese, and I forgot to. Sorry, guys. I do too, Grateful. Me and Joe, I mean, they're $4 a bag. It makes you really rethink your life when you're paying $4 for tater tots and $2.50 for a bag of potatoes. Rachel, I love this dish. Well, that's good to hear, Here love. We Here we go. Going in the oven? Yep. Or you want cheese on it first? What, Dad? Cheese on it first? Oh, or? So it's up to you. I don't want cheese for me. All right. What if you do? We're good. All right, there you go. We're good. Same pan, you just did steps. You can make it. You don't even have to do that part about the... Um, you don't have to do the part about the making the hash browns look good. I mean, if it's a guy making it, let them just throw them out there. My only suggestion is if you put frozen hash browns and frozen corn, it is going to lengthen your time to 30 extra minutes. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm being literally honest with you. If you take them out, let them be at room temperature while you're doing the, the food. You're going to preheat your oven anyways. So stick your tater tots on a cookie sheet while it's preheating and you're cooking your food. That's what I did. Once it's preheated, your tater tots are 50% of the way done. And your bottom is 50% of the way done. You're just waiting for it to bubble now. If I had cheese, I would be just waiting the cheese to melt. So that's the part that you have to decide for your time frame. Um, like, what do I want to spend? How much time do I want to spend on it? Hold on, I'm gonna move you guys back. Are you okay? The oh, ice. There's an ice cube on the floor. I know the ice. The ice gets you every single time. Um, as far as the gravy, I would start with a quarter cup of a quarter cup of your um, flour for your meat. Does that make sense? Because if you start with a half a cup of flour for your meat and you get further in and you realize now I'm going to have to add more oil, you just got to just think about that. Is, is there, do I have enough meat to do a half a cup of flour? Is there enough oil? Is it wet enough for a half a cup of flour? So if you start with a quarter cup of flour, sprinkle it over everything, grab your spoon, Um, hold on one second. Just curious. Burger week. It is happening. Yes. We were supposed to do it this week. Hey, I was doing a live. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. How's it going? Is everything okay? Yeah. Hi, I'm Wood. <laughs> Look at Grandpa. Hey, poops. He's Stop. You guys, I'm sorry. He's so beautiful. All right. I love you, mijo. Okay, bye. My time with my baby grandson um, is very few, far and few between. Um, when he's with his mom and he doesn't feel good, unfortunately, my son doesn't get to see him, which means I don't get to see him. Um, and so I hadn't seen him in, um, in about two weeks. So, uh, I'm about to start crying. Okay. Anyways, geez. Ugh. So just make sure you have enough oil. Thank you. Grateful. Um, I just want to get back to Michigan so bad. I want to get back to Michigan so bad. Oh, okay. Make sure you have enough meat in your, make sure the meat you have in your pan has enough 
oil or grease to put the flour in. If you buy turkey, chicken, or a lean meat, you will probably have to put at least a teaspoon or a tablespoon of oil, okay? Let me explain why. Because that is what, combined with the flour, is going to be your gravy. If you want to do a totally low fat, low cholesterol, low everything, get the safe, smart, something like that. Hey, Spitfire, they sell um, cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup, and they sell like health smart or health beat. I find it um, very, I feel like it's an advantage to use to make it yourself. If I wanted to, I could have used almond flour. I've never tried it. I don't want to steer you that way, but you can, I use what like, you can eat in moderation, let me say that. You can eat in moderation of, I'm only gonna get a spoon, like a, a, a cup, one cup of dinner or one serving of dinner. You don't have to get it like, and be unhealthy about this, like a huge bowl of it. And actually a lot of times I rarely eat when we get off just because we gotta start cleaning right away. So um, there's just a lot of, um, uh, you know, you can use um, the soups. Uh, there's a packet that, you can put instead of doing that once your meat's fried grab your packet and the um where they sell packets of meat and gravy and meatloaf and all that it says gravy and put the gravy on it or you can buy the jar of gravy mix and pour it on it you can buy the soup i just try to show you the way that is the most economical this way all you had to invest was your flour that you were going to buy or that you had in the house anyways it cost 250 for the flour we used one quarter of a cup of it so in all honesty do you i mean maybe 30 cents maybe 15 cents of flour you used for your pan your your ground beef that ground beef cost eight dollars and we used four dollars of it the other night when we made something four dollars just now so four dollars for the meat i used half a bag of the hash browns so two dollars because those were uh, four dollars so two dollars so six dollars for just the the hash browns i mean the uh tater tots and the beef and then the mushrooms i bought i think a week uh last this past week and we used them for something i don't remember what we used them for but they cost a dollar 48 so 75 cents 75 cents so they cost 6.75 for this dish we're having today 675 you guys um yeah and it's gonna feed plenty of people i think uh, about what it, this close to spring break you guys why not eat at home for the next two weeks so when you go on vacation next week you i mean trust me i have been there where it's like we don't have time let's just go through mcdonald's everybody get from the cheap menu everybody get from the dollar menu okay we're taking drinks from here we got practice we'll eat there in the parking lot because practice is right after her practice I've been there. I've had two kids. We go from one practice to the other practice. I have done many things. We we go to church on Wednesdays. We get there at 545 and I would take food in a Tupperware container and I'd put it in the fridge because we were in the back. And then when Joe got there or when the kids got dropped off after practice, they'd warm it up and they'd eat in the back because we had like a... a, a a kitchen or something in the in the church so it's all when you have a mindset of i want like right now we want to go to michigan we're not going out to eat we're eating at home i don't care i want to order fries no get your butt home we're eating at home 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 that's our just our you guys are like we haven't gone on vacation in a whole year do it like we went on a cruise it was like our one chance in two years our daughter was able to go with her senior group so we as a family, because we're not going to let her go by herself, I saw so many horror stories. So and I didn't want to tell her no, it was her senior trip. So we went and we just hid out in one of the uh, the rooms. <laughs> yeah, we did. We, we hid out in her room and she didn't care. I mean, we didn't go and hang out by her. She was with her friends. But it was, um, it's just I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to do one or the other. Like if I would not show you but you guys felt like eating this, then you find something like a uh, Bob Evans or you find something that you're going, hey, I'm in the mood for this, where can I get it? Now you know how to make it. And if you wanna make it, that's the part that it's up to you. I want a wet burrito. Oh, that place closed, it's closed down. Oh my God, uh, they're, they're not open on Sundays. Oh my gosh, it says that they're closed at six o'clock. 
you can now make a wet burrito. You can make a tostada. You can make carne asada. You guys can make your own egg drop soup. You guys can make your own um, Asian food, Mexican food, chicken yeah. cordon bleu. Yeah, and if it don't come out right, and it's horrible just because something happened, that's half of the fun, really. Because then you go, well, let's just throw this in the garbage. Let's go to get something to eat because we can't eat what we just made. I mean, that's half the fun is screwing up together and, you know, we still talk about... I wouldn't, I wouldn't dump chicken it. Chicken and rice. I would salvage it and we eat at home. <laughs> we ate the chicken and rice. It was just dry. But I don't, just don't we give up. these numbers. Yeah. Don't give up on yourself. Just know that. Don't give up on yourself. It's a matter of a learning process. Learning. Like, nobody is good from go. What was a soft egg and pepper thing? What was it? You guys were make, t make, talking about uh, making one night. It sounded... What was the soft egg and pepper thing you guys were talking about making one night? It sounded good. Now I forgot the name of it. Soft egg and pepper. What do we do with it? Was, was it, it rice, was it? Well, yeah. <laughs> I love that. We did the... Um, Copycat is fun. We did the patty melt. Joe, I mean, we live right here, and he's like, I'm going to make a patty melt, Waterberg patty melt. Um, there's a, quite a few, like, soups. He loves to make soups. My son makes soups really good, too. Um... Can't think of the, the no rice. Thing. It had a Spanish name. Oh, oh, the chili rellenos. Oh yeah. We get we separate the egg whites with the egg yolks, and then once we fluff up the egg whites, and they are get like pretty soft. You know, they're peaks. The it's all like meringue, if you know, like the top of it. So you, we're gonna make them with you guys, but you whip it up. You beat your egg whites till it's frothy and and like what you put on a lemon meringue pie okay no 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 you're right and then you once they're ready you get your yolks that are whipped like in a bowl to mix them you pour that in with your whites and you make that like you just fold it in very gently and then it becomes your white fluffy becomes a little tinted yellow so your um peppers the big peppers you after you roast them you put them in a bag like this to steam them and then once they're steamed we're going to peel off the the cooked part of it we will make them i know we we're supposed to make them on a on a on a wednesday we we're going to cook them on a wednesday but then i remember we already did a cook along so we got to do them i'll put it on i know and we got to do our burgers too you guys All right, let me put this down. I'm going to put it down because sometimes we forget our lists at home, and I'm like, what are the things that were on the list? Okay, we're going to do the chili. Next week, Wednesday, is our cook-along, guys. Wednesday cook-along is the chili rellenos. Babe, next week, Wednesday, is the 1st of April. Or not the 1st, but it's like the 3rd. Yeah. We are doing the cook-along for the chili rellenos, oh, yeah. rellenos, and then what else? Oh, then they want to do the burgers. So I would say chili rellenos is not for beginners. You would think so? Hey, Penny. You mean because of the pepper, or do you think because of the 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 the, the, co the coating? Yeah, I guess you're right, cheese. Like we should probably demonstrate it first. Good point. Good point. Cheese is this. He works in the kitchen with us because of all the above. <laughs> I, I know. Okay. Well, that's why we have him as our sous chef. He says not to. We're going to skip that. We'll do it. And then after we do it, we'll do it on an, a week when everybody's going to be here and we can do it again. But it looks like our next week is going to be burgers. What, Penny? What's up, baby? Because of all of the above. It definitely sounds complicated, way above my skill. Ay, ay, ay. My stepmom and little sister always steal my recipes, claim them as their own, but but ruin them every time. Oh, Benny, I'm sorry. 
That's funny. No, you, okay, so we're gonna put that on there. We will make it, but Joe really is trying to do the burgers. Y'all want the burgers. Um, Joe, do you have a list of what your burgers that you're working with yet are? I think I did. Look at all that. Can we uh, hear that? Yeah, could you? Lord have mercy. And guess what I just dropped on the floor? Another ice cube. Another ice cube. Um, let me look. All right. I love you guys. Hi, Liz! I totally forgot to make dinner and now have to figure something out in 30 minutes. What do you have in the house? Hey, Middletown. I think our thing is done, baby. Think so? I think so. All right, I'm gonna start pulling it out or you wanna grab plates out or maybe I'll do it the other way around. Hold on, guys. For Anybody traveling for Easter, please be careful. Drive safely, please. Um, I wish I was going to go see my baby, but I will talk to him on the phone. My mom, I'm going to go see her on Saturday. We're celebrating Easter on Saturday. So you guys, please be careful because the roads get crazy and people get crazy. People get crazy. Uh, yes, there you go, cheese. I think I might have one on my phone. We roast our peppers and then peel them. Yeah. Yes. That's what we do. To almost peppers. like, almost like with the hatch peppers. Oh. If anybody lives in in uh, New Mexico, I will fly out to see you. Yes, I will. Yeah, I must have it on my phone. Oh, you've been a member for six months, Milltown. Congratulations. Thank you so much for all of your support, love. Six months. Wow. Thank you for being a member. You want plates? No, uh, yeah. Ugh. I was gonna say if you're gonna take this out. Plates. Plates. Muchas gracias, senore. If you have cheese on it, your cheese will be dripping. We didn't have cheese because. I want to sprinkle cheese on it when I get it. Go for it. Do it now. Well, you don't want these on yours. No, but you can still do it on your half. Or a little portion. Ooh, look at the re the corn came up. Came to party with us. Yeah. Look to it. If you like it roasted, yes. Obviously, you put it in while it's going in. It will roast up. Might, you know. <laughs> That's good, man. You sure? I'll just take a good scoop out of there. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Get one in the oven? No, that's no, fine. You can do the cheese in between the corn and the tater tots, and then again on top, or you can just do it on top before. You can broil that. We just decided to do it at the last minute. It can't, it, be, while it's heating in there for 20 minutes or whatever, you guys, it literally is done. We just chose, like, hey, yeah, I'll put it. So that's why it looks. Last thought, because it was a last thought. Yep, very much last thought. I need spoons. Uh, you want a fork or spoon? Whatever you give me, Spain. Thank you. I don't know what I was thinking. I went all the way over away from the cheese, but now you don't get the cheese by you. <laughs> It's caliente, y'all. Oh, Milltown gifted five. Aw, thank you, Mama. Bacon, 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 bacon. There's it's bacon. bacon. <laughs> I did it with Joe. Good Jim. job, babe. Yes, that's right. You did good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, fine sir. You guys, if you guys see it later, it's already starting to melt on the. See in here, guys, it's already cheesing. Oh, I should have had you take it before I did it, baby. That's all right. I'll take one of kind of half of it. Okay. And a half, there we go. There we go. 
something like that. There you go. Good job. Okay. Let's roll, yeah. Let's do this. Uh, let's tink. Let's do it. Are we are we are like zoomed in or something? Zoomed in. We're not zoomed in anymore. Uh, up to my level. Jasper, welcome in. You're in time for the somewhere tink. Close to my level. I just got you. You know what? You want a fork? Yeah. Oh, well, I wanted to fork too, but. It's alright. I like, like spoons for this kind of stuff. Here we go. Ugh. Good deal. Not like soup or anything. Ready, guys? Oh my. It's Cheesy. gonna be hot. Tink. 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 Ooh, oh. yeah. I wonder what it tastes like the hot sauce. Mmm. <laughs> Total comfort food, man. In my honest opinion, mm. I do like a cottage pie. You know, in shepherd's pie, a cottage pie. But I think the tater tots hit different, mm. don't they? They do. But I mean, if you like tater tots. Yeah, they give it that tater tot flair. I love tater tots. You can tell there's tater tots in there. Mm -hmm. Other than... Mm -hmm. Using something else. Mm. That is so good. Mm -hmm. mm. I want pepper. It's very good. I knew you were going to want more pepper. Uh, Sorry. You're okay. Love my pepper. Here we go. Pepperized. Mmm. Hell yeah. Are you sure you melt? Yeah. Cheese is all melty now. Cheese is all melty now. Watch it's hot, baby. It is hot. Yeah. Doesn't have a crust on it or nothing, but it's nice and melty. Mm -hmm. It's nice and thick. You need it with a fork. Yeah. Mm. And like I said, you guys, put peas, put carrots, put uh, green I, beans. Yeah, that's a good stick to your ribs meal right there, man. Yeah, I oh, love it. Oh, yeah. This is what I love. That mushroom, it's a mm. full-size mushroom. When you put cream of mushroom soup, you get little nibbles of it. Mm. I love a good mushroom on that. Hell, yeah. Look how big that mushroom is. Mm. I mean, if you don't like mushroom, why would you want it? But wow. oh. when you like mushroom... You love it that you have it. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys so much. So good. Thank you guys for coming in. I'm going to read the chat really quick. I didn't even do that, baby. All right. Here's my ball. Mm. Sorry, oh. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for coming in. Bye, but I'm going to look for some tots right now. I love you, Pretty the Pistols. <laughs> That's so good, man. And they aren't cheap what they used to be. I swear they used to be like a dollar twenty or a dollar. They were on sale for two for three. Nope, no more. Be advised. Tater tots are about four dollars a bag. Novi, come down. We got to show you. Love you too, Mama. Oh, I love that Milltown. I love that. Mama, you want to say, say hi? Yeah. Nova. Someone asked about the dogs earlier. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Milltown, for blessing us. I truly appreciate it. Right truly, here. truly appreciate it. Right here. Right here. Sit down. Sit. Everybody sit. Novi. You too, Novi. Nova. Hey. Hey. Let me get him a treat. Hey. Treat time. Yeah. You love mama? What do you tell mama? <laughs> I, I love you. I love you. <laughs> you guys are so good. Oh, 
one more, baby. One more. Good girls. She's our catcher. You, you can throw it sidearm. Yeah, side we can eye, throw it over there. Whatever. She'll just nab it right out of the air. Sit. Sit. Sit down. Good girl. She's like, okay, what? Where's my food? <laughs> I, know we got the food. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for loving us. Thank you for just being here. Thank you for loving our babies. Oh, Wispy. I'm sorry, Mama. I love you. I love you so much. You guys, have a blessed day. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you, Milltown, for blessing us. We are truly grateful. We, we are honestly grateful that you guys come in, and we're grateful that you guys would even bless us with that. If you guys could do us one more favor and bless us with hitting the like on your way out, I would appreciate it. Uh, uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys could do that, too. Thank you guys so much. Spread the word. Let people subscribe. Let more people subscribe. Let them feel the love. Our I love you guys. We're going to do another game night, I promise. We got another game night coming up. Because that was fun. I had fun. It was a lot of fun. See ya, Thor. Thor, Grateful, Allie, RLR, Penny. I know, Penny, I did it for you too. Grateful and Penny. Penny's dog watches our dog in the, in the TV. I think that's so adorable. I love you guys.